since the second jab comes out. Mm -hmm. And then I mash A again, so I do like a shield grab. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, it'll, it'll come out real quick. Though. And you'll get to see when, or you know, how slow yeah. you were on it. I like that. We got Pooch versus O'Reilly. Pooch, uh, biggest trash target we have here. <laughs> Only going Fire Samus, which uh, I think Ice might be better in this matchup. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Only only for the floaty characters. Look at Mewtwo floating in, or up being in, and then doing float Nair. I feel like that's such an amazing approach. It's very good. It's. How do you get out of it? You can't. Yeah, you can't really, you know. It's just, you know, you just get hit by it, really. It carries you all around, so... Despite being amazing, they're actually at even percent. It looked like Mewtwo had a commanding lead. Woo. Wow. Just now, chase you anywhere. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it can be pr can be fairly difficult to aim the teleport to actually. Get went with ice. Them. I think. Ooh. Oh I love Samus's standing over the ledge animation. Her teeter. She goes straight yeah, like a pencil. She's like looking down, like, oh god, <laughs> this life. He's just running away with those shots. And that is ice. Pretty okay. even right now. It's a tricky teleport. He tried to do a dash attack and an up smash. That's not Fox. I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm really disappointed that Mewtwo has been found to be so good because the teleport really is such a cool mechanic. Yeah, now that you have to see it get nerfed. Yeah, that's a good fun. Yeah, I wish he was still just like a little, a little undervalued or like more secretive. Mm -hmm. But then you see the whoop, 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 and you're like, oh god, the skill. Like, I, I have the opinion that Mewtwo had the most badass move set in melee. Like, <laughs> just everything about it. Like, one of the throws was, was literally throwing his opponent and then just it's shooting, shooting. Fire, yeah. or, you know, shadow. Fire. Like, that's so cool. <laughs> yep. And like, he was just so bad though. Like, he had yeah. a more badass move set than Ganondorf, and that's saying something. Right? You love the purple. <laughs> yeah, you know? He had, he had the purple, yeah. Right. Purple just makes you badass, I think. The dark energy. Okay. That was a, a huge grab. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe that. I can't believe how Mewtwo can approach. He's like floating aerials into a, a B aerial. Like. Okay, down through into just tail moves. Like the hovers, it's just such a good tool because... Just the way you can space your aerials with it, make it so, like, combined with the hitbox of his up air, it's just such a wall of aerials that you can't really escape. Yeah. It's just really good. Same with Nair. The fact that you can't, like, just smash the eye out of the snare, mm -hmm. just follows him any yeah, way you want. I know a lot of Mewtwo's, they like to Nair oh, he's switching out. at a platform while the opponent's standing on it. Complete a Nair and then do a falling Nair, and they're completely invisible. Yeah, just so much electricity everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay, using that Zare to keep him away. I've always wanted that to do more, but I don't think it can set up for combos. What the up tilt? The Zare. Oh, the Zare. Yeah, I, I think you can actually. I, actually, I, I haven't seen a lot of high level Samus play, but. Uncommon at, characters. At least it's it's a very good spacing tool because it's lagless if you end it in the air. Yep. Yeah. So, and it, it can be a, a decent edge guarding tool too if they don't expect it. Oh, that's interesting. From on stage to off stage. Yes. Never really thought of that way. Okay, Mewtwo takes it with the F smash. Ooh, oh, that was pooch. Excellent conversion. Yeah, really smart. Waiting on the inside of the stage does a jab F, uh, F smash. This is funny because Pooch was just complaining earlier today that oh. he doesn't know how to fight floaties, and he was just like, he he was Johnny saying that's the only characters he loses to floaties. <laughs> <laughs> he what? was complaining about it so much, and now he's uh, even with pretty much the floatiest character. In yeah, I think he found his groove. Shoot projectiles. He's got like a lot oh, of charge head. shots. Spacing with that F smash. Well, that was risky. What did he? What did he get out with? What did he? 
He, uh, he with. crouch canceled the dash attack and then down smash. Down smash, that's right. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Chart chat makes him very proud. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna get off the mic and take a break. I'm, I gotta get ready for melee uh, okay. losers finals. Good luck, dude. Now this was honestly kind of surprising to me because literally 75% of my interactions with Pooch involve him, or like around Pooch, involve him johnning about something. So. He's, he's going to be so happy with, with himself if he loses the air wins this. But Curse is having none of it, and he's going his true main. We'll see if he could replicate this. What is up, everybody? This is Adam the Amazing 64 here. Did you see the last match? I did. It was pretty hype. It was pretty hype. Speaking of hype, there's a knee. All right, so Pooch is going in. <laughs> Let's see. Now, I don't think I've actually seen Pooch win a set. So. <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm trash talking Pooch so hard now for some reason. Everybody trash talks Pooch. Oh, he rolls back to avoid the elbow. I like it. Ooh, drops Ooh. the uh, up tilt. Yeah, I really had just enough space to get on without being stolen. I just love it whenever missiles bounce off. Shields like that. <laughs> oh. oh, dodging the knee really quickly. There's a short hop to uh, quick fall. Up tilt. Oh. Pooch keeps missing on his missiles really badly. Yeah, he needs to get those lower. Yeah, like that. I think that's the lowest it gets with Samus when you land it right there. It's uh, shorter when she's actually standing. Yeah, he's firing way too high. Yeah, and they gave her a huge boon in this game by letting missiles auto-cancel on the ground. Is he even DIing? Because he's just getting thrown into everything. Let's see. Yeah, there's the low missile helping him out. Ugh, you can't fight a oh, kick like with it. a knee, though, with a heel. I'm surprised it didn't at least clash oh, with it. Oh, dropping the heel. Ooh, there you go, Pooch. Yeah, hammer of justice. Yeah. I think Pooch is trying to go for a super wave dash right there. <laughs> Yeah, Pooch wants to stay away from those platforms against O'Reilly because he'll just up tilt him to death. All right. I'm not sure how much experience O'Reilly has against Samus in this game. Mm. I'm guessing it's pretty minimal. Did he just use the Raptor, the side B, to jump up with using the missile? Yes, that's uh, that's one of the differences in this game between Captain Falcon. The missile didn't even explode. He just like jumped on top. He, he'll do that. Uh, Captain Falcon does that on actual characters too. Yeah. Like if it's not spaced so that it hits them, he just bounces over them like that. <laughs> it kind of helps with the recovery oh. actually. Starting off the hits with a raw knee. Going for a near. Up throw. He's trying to this go for the up uh, tilt, but that ain't going to work. Very even. Uh-oh. Reverse knee. Really good. He didn't DI that very well. Nah, but uh, he's still able to make it because of that tether. So. All right. So now he's got to get back on safely. Uh, still got that tether. So nice and space back here. Ooh. Ooh. Trying to go for the hard uh, knee. He got it. Okay. All right. Pooch is back, but he just stands up and takes <laughs> a knee to the face. He's even looking confused. He's just line drive DIing these knees. Uh, oh, oh you know? that's. Don't taunt and just let him knee you. Come on. You can tell Pooch is really desperate right now. Yeah, this game's kind of getting away from him. Yeah, he needs to just uh, step back and uh, throw some missiles out there. But I think it might be too late for him here. <laughs> he tries to punch the missile. Ugh. It might have worked on the ice missile, but that one just exploded in his face. Oh, good. That move is so great for racking up damage quickly. Especially against uh, fast ballers like Falcon. Yeah. <sighs> he misses the grab. Goes Ooh. for the need trade, but game stop right there. All right, so Aurelia's taking uh, game two here, and we're going into game three. All right, I think I'm going to head off the mic. All right. I'm going to go play some melee. That's the reason I came here in the first place. So. Yeah, sounds good. I'll see if I can find someone else. All right. You can't just leave mid-set, though. Uh, that's what Bro did. <laughs> I just Yo, who wants to commentate? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Pooch talking some smack right here to Dwa. Nice. Whatever you want to call me. All right. So joining me is. I love how I love how my username is misspelled. That's a G. I don't know. Thanks. Adam. Adam. V I C. A T A. That's not an O. That's an A. Oh, okay. Back to the match. Oh um. Oh, really starting off really strong. Pooch here is just trying to keep up with the yeah. percent. No, we actually reversed. <laughs> Ooh, I was going to see a knee right there, but Pooch quickly gets out that there. Falcon kick, pushing him off stage. Luckily that tether. No, I would not suggest that. If a really had adapted faster, he could have just kneed him before that shield came out. Oh. Ooh, catching him coming off stage with a uh, bear. Yeah. He traded. Okay, that <laughs> he went right between the legs and just knee her right there. Wow. That's what you call a blow, huh? It's a good thing she's got that power armor though. All right. Ooh. Aureli was forced into that. He had no options. If he had tried to up B, he would have gotten the same results, possibly. Pooch has to stop making his lasers really predictable. He's, yeah. just, he's usually shooting them early in the stock, and then later when he charges it, he'll try to finish you off. Yeah. But that's how Samus goes. Aureli doesn't even care. He's just taunting. He's showing off. Perfect spacing to get away from the get-up attack from the ledge with the fair. Now I just got Pooch missing and Aureli's jumping around to confuse him a bit before going in for the knee. Like so. Killer knee. Yeah. Uh, put your put your mic closer to your mouth. Yeah. Closer, closer. These, these mics are silly. Okay. There we go. Good enough. All right. Nair to knee. Dare. I was gonna see. I was thinking of a short hop to knee, but. Both of them are just missing. keeping their spacing and throwing legs out. It's like a hissy fit. Leg, 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 leg. <laughs> um. Good punch. Wow, he got him really far with that uh, up up smash. Let's see. Up to up air. Let's see. It's about the up smash, but this is uh, Dreamland. So wow, yeah. he's still dead. Yeah, yeah. Ridiculous, Samus. <laughs> oh, really? I really is freaking out here. Freaking out. Yeah. Uh, what? He power yeah. shielded. However, Samus was too close to apparently get hit by the laser. Yeah, that Both was of them crazy. just don't even phase at that. Um, misses. He's rolling around. <laughs> New dodge technique, Samus. Roll, guys. Just roll. Yeah, just roll underneath them. And, ooh, missing that knee, but oh, knee. gets it back. All right. And that's it for Pooch.